Hey guys, it's me, Rhonda. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a quick review of my Coffee and Bible Time prayer journal and how I am using it. Um, I'm trying to use this setup because this book is very big and I'm having to stand on a stool so I can see over the camera. So let's see how this is going to work. So if you're new here, welcome. I am happy that you landed on this channel. And if you are my subbies, I just want to say, hey guys, I am glad that you are here. So let's take a look at what I have here. First off, this is, I'm going to have to step down. Okay. I can't reach it. I'll stand on my tippy toes. So this is a 31 days of prayer for others. And I have been using this. This is from the Daily Grace Co. I have been using this as um, kind of like a prompt for prayer. And I'll show you um, kind of how I've been writing out, how, how I've been using it for this particular journal. Okay, so let me move this guy. I didn't realize she was in the way. So anyway, this is from Coffee and Bible Time. I'm sure that you guys have seen them, their YouTube channel. Um, and they have a prayer journal. They actually have a little planner and um, a binder, I believe. But I ordered this. I actually have been looking at it for quite some time and just, I don't know, I never committed. And one day, one day my compulsion <laughs> just had me order it. And now I am so glad that I did. So here we go. Because this is huge, I think it's like a regular size paper. It made it so easy. So anyway, I found this on, this is not in the book. This is something that I glued in. I got it from, I'm not sure, at Consider the Will of Flowers. I found it on images when I um, went to Google and just images of the bookshelf with the Bibles and stuff like that. So anyway, here I've just been kind of coloring them through as I go through the Bible book reading tractor tracker. And so this is a table of contents. And it's so funny because this color theme matches everything that I, so many things that I already have. And so I've just, my granddaughter gives me little stickers here and there. So I just kind of put some little stickers in there. There is a um, welcome letter. I'm kind of good. I guess I'm just going to do a complete flip through for you guys in case you see it, have seen it and wondered how other people would use it other than um, Ashley and Taylor, how they would use it. Um, I just kind of stuck little stickers in the beginning. How this is laid out is it has tabs and each tab represents um, like a prayer section. So you have praise, confess, give thanks, rest, urgent, petition, scripture and then back here it flips to dailies and then it has monday through friday and each day of the week gives you a different prompt and then the very last tab um, is answers and so i can't wait to show you that one you guys okay so here is the praise what i did was just um i don't know just kind of start I didn't know what to what to do at first, what I how I was going to use it, what I was going to put in here or anything. So I mainly started kind of going through and looking at how they had laid it out and then um, kind of wrote a little prayer letter there. This one is um, talking about worshiping and praise songs. So I just wrote out my favorite song and I don't know, just kind of made it in my way how I... I love to see, I love doing funny lettering. I love to do just highlights of like repetition. And um, so, I mean, I just have so much room to do so much stuff. And, and sometimes it's overwhelming. But um, then other days I feel like, oh, I just, I could just write in this all afternoon. And that's what I, I've done for the past couple Sundays is just kind of go through here and lay out some things that are on my heart. Just wrote out a psalm kind of prompts you to write out a praise from the Bible. Um, praising God for who he is. Now, these words were here. Uh, merciful, rock, wonderful counselor, redeemer, love. And I just kind of use those as prompts 
for, um, I don't know, like little pieces of scripture, things that would come to my mind. Um, and then I started singing that song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. <laughs> so, I don't know. And then they actually give you, you know, these are the different, she gives you in the beginning, there's like a little um, dashboard that comes with different post-it notes. But um, I use those pretty quickly. And so I snagged those from Kyla's desk. And it just gives you a little section where you can write out prayers, praise, and, and like in each section. And so I've just written out a couple praises. And then I kind of re, I just went ahead and prepped the pages there. Haven't really got any much um, there. Got some confessions. And um, I always say to reveal any nooks and crannies where my sin is hiding, you know, ring me out like a rag. And just wrote some confessions that would fall on my heart. Um, some confessions there. Then they gave us like a little reading thing and then kind of asked some questions about what did we get from that scripture that we had read couple more prep pages um then the give thanks section kind of gives you a little um rundown i try to write in here at least once a week twice a week i'm the thankful part because i do a gratitude journal so i'm always writing like my gratitude so i and so i just kind of prepped it with some little stickers that i had but the majority i want you to be able to see this is the page this pretty colors and things like that those are the pages. These little additional things are just stickers that I put on there. More prompting. Um, for every complaint or what you have, give 10 things you're thankful for instead. So if you have a complaint, then, you know, it kind of gives you something to, to journal it out. <clears throat> so that's the end. And then you can write out your, you know, alphabet thanks, givings. Um, reminders so you can see there's a lot of room that you could literally use this as like a daily journal that you could write out your thing um you know anything you wanted to write rest and listen i've used this one quite a bit um wrote out the lord's um the lord is my shepherd wrote that out highlighted the the he's and the you's, more stickers. It's just a really a time to be able to sit still with God and just kind of pour out what's on your heart. And um, urgent prayers. I don't really have much. I, I haven't had anything super urgent as of late, which is a blessing and I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Petition, this is already in there. This is already in there. These are all just little stickers that I've put in there. Um, just kind of me submitting and surrendering. Just asking for guidance and help. Look at that. Yeah, I use this one. I need it. <laughs> Guide me through this, guide me through that. Bold and courageous in confidence is just kind of like my theme this year. It seems like I'm really seeking to be more confident and more bold and, in, in, um, you know, just in God's word and sharing and sharing what's on my heart and not being afraid to, to speak his truth, you know, and use the gifts that I feel he's laid upon my heart to, to share. Scripture. I drew, this was, I think, was the christening page. I drew, I, um, yeah, this was my christening page. This was the page that I broke out the colored markers or, or the colored crowns and everything. And I found an image on Google and just kind of drew it with a pencil first. And then I wrote out John 1, 1 through 3. Um, there's, you know, you can have the prayer, then you can echo it back and you can put your, you can fill in the blanks with you saying it. And then just more of, here's some quotes from the A.W. Tozer book that I finally finished. And I'm so glad that I read that book. I, I balked at it. But when I got towards the end, 
whatever reason God put it on my heart to open it up again. I'm so glad because towards the end was some really good input and I really got a lot from that book. Um, just a couple more scriptures. Just trying to make it colorful and getting a little creative. I was trying to do some of those banners that I saw Faith do. Um, but as you can tell, I really need some practice. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, then here's where we get to the, um, the days of the week. So each day is laid out with a um, prompt. So on Monday, we pray for family. And so I just kind of drew a little... It started out as a tree, and then I ended it up as that kind of a tree <laughs> with birds singing in a little nest. And um, I added a couple stickers here for just writing out some prayers. I put a picture of my grandkids and my daughter because that was their Christmas card. And then I just wrote each one of my children and my mom and my sister. Wrote those out. Wrote a couple specific little prayers. Tuesday is for my Christian friends, for them to not be <clears throat> anxious. And this is where I started bringing this book into play, which I don't want to forget, because this is a, um, my friend Christine sent me this, and it's on, it's 31 days of prayer for others. So it helps you to take the focus off of you always asking God for something in your life and and starting to look around you and start start to focus on the needs of other people, even though they may not actually speak it out to you that, hey, can you pray for me with this? I I will text my friend Maria and say, Maria, I need you to pray for me. I need you to pray because she is like my prayer warrior friend. <laughs> she will just stop what she's doing. And before I'm done asking her, she's already sending the prayer. And um, so it's I'm trying to learn to be more um, observant and proactive when I see someone hurting or if I hear someone, you know, someone of a friend of a friend of a friend even, you know, and I just really try to focus on that. So I, I'm, I'm trying to break into that. So anyway, this has different things for people who are suffering, for anxious. I pulled some of the prayers out from here. They give you scripture. And what I would do is just take the words and then just kind of reword them a little bit and write them out here, you know, like praying that, um, I pray that my friends will feel the comfort and peace of Jesus, that there is rest at the foot of the cross, just kind of, um, just throwing a big blanket of comfort out there and, and surrounding them and, and praying over them. And, you know, those are my little friends that I've got. Every time of some, and, and you know, when the Lord puts somebody on my heart, I just go in here and I'll write it down. I probably could literally go in my phone book, uh, phone book. Do we even have phone books? <laughs> I meant to say my contact list and just start filling these pages up because everybody has needs and we should always, we should be thinking about that. Wednesdays are for non-believers. I've been heavy on my heart to pray for the lost and, um, just kind of been just trying to do that. Sometimes I don't even know what to pray, and I just have to say, Lord, you know, you know, and I'm in, I stand with those that are praying that know what to say and know how to, how to, to pray better, and I stand with them just so that, you know, because he, he says we're, we're two or more gathered and they're praying for the same thing, so I just try to unite with others that are praying and then we have Thursday's church and ministry, and I have been praying for a church, so I keep praying for a church. I pray for those in missions, that they would have endurance for the when the work is hard, that they would give them, that the Lord would give them perseverance, and that they would trust in the unknown. I couldn't imagine being in a foreign country in these times. How scary. I just... I pray for them. I'm so, I'm so happy that they have stepped into what they were called to do. But a lot of these I get, you know, like I would pull from here because it talks about um, parents unemployed. I still have a few more that I'm going to go back to. Like this was praying for the poor, missionaries. And then I would just pull words and then just throw like a prayer around the word that stood out to me. Um, 
another prayer there. Friday is praying for the world and the nation and missions. And um, again, I pulled from that little prayer book, wrote out some prayers for Israel. And y'all, here is the answer tab. Now, God is always answering prayers for me. And sometimes I just, I am just blown away. But um, this was the last answer. Let me, let me cover up that one because I'm still. This one is, may the God of hope, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. This I got yesterday when I went to church y'all i went to this little church that i have been eyeballing y'all know i'm praying for a church and i think the lord has answered me so i am putting this in my answered prayers i really enjoyed it and i'm gonna go back i this was a little pad that they gave me along with um y'all i can't wait and they gave me a oh, a cute little pen where'd i put it anyway i have my cute little pen Anyway, it has a little stylus on it. Oh, it's right here. Oh, no, it's not. But anyway, they gave me this mug also. So it's Christ Church Joined with Jesus. And so I'm using this as my little highlighter for my planner. But I know I have the pen. Bear with me. It's like in here somewhere. It has a little style. Oh, there it is. It has a stylus on it. I know that's probably neither here nor there. But I just thought that was the, the coolest little thing. So anyway, yes. So I may have found a church. And I am so excited. It felt, and I know we don't go on feelings. It felt amazing to be there. And I know it was Easter. And I know event, event um, times or celebrations can feel a little different than the real thing. You know, like the real day in, day out church services and attendance and things like that. And I'm looking for that. But y'all, he had us pull out our Bibles. That was almost like the point that I felt, oh my gosh, this is, this is it. And as I was telling Maria earlier that, um, I mean, I want to find a Bible teaching church, not just a Bible based church or biblically based church, I want them to open God's word and read from it because I don't want to just rely on them typing up on the screen and reading from there because that's, I don't want to turn this into an ugly video, but that's how mis, like misleading can happen because if you're not opening your Bible and reading along with them as they read, a slip of the tongue a slip of a text can turn you down the wrong path is what I'm trying to say. And so even though it may say such and such, such and such, John 10 ESV in parentheses, if you're not reading John 10, 10 from your ESV, you don't know that it's, you know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is just be mindful and Always check scripture against scripture. That's my thing. And so anyway, he had us bring out our Bibles and I was just so tickled because I had mine. And the music was so good. It wasn't overwhelming. It wasn't too loud. It wasn't, um, and it was, you know, it's, you know, this kind of age. So they had a, a drums and they had um, a keyboard but it wasn't overpowering. The worship wasn't super long and super repetitive. And everything just was so well done and inviting and comforting. And I just felt when I left there, I almost felt like, wow, just wow is what I felt. Just wow. And I'm excited. I want to go back next week. <laughs> And they have small groups and they have Bible studies for women and they have, you know, things like that extra, not extracurricular, what it would be. Yeah, I guess extracurricular outside of like regular service times that I think would be 
just something to to work towards or to look forward to and to investigate and things like that so anyway y'all keep praying for me because i am so excited i'm just really excited so anyway that's the video that's my prayer journal coffee and bible time this was just a little journal that i used to um kind of help guide me get started and um the paper quality is really good it's nice and thick so i'm sure it would take um it probably wouldn't take like acrylic i don't know it's nice size it's nice for markers and stuff my markers haven't bled through and i use tombos so i have tombos and colored pencils so anyway i thought i would share that with you guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you um have used this this journal or maybe i don't know drop some pictures i don't know if you can drop pictures down in the comments of how you've done pages or not but i'd be interested and i'm definitely open for suggestions i love creativity and i love to try different things i'm practicing hand lettering now but i keep finding that i revert back to my old muscle memory it's really i'm yeah i'm just i have to kind of learn a new step but um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you feel like you want to subscribe for more videos feel free to subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.